Hey there, Orange Lanterns, The Comics Kid 2099 here to talk about an episode of Green Lantern, the animated series titled Larflees. If you haven't seen the episode, go do so if you don't like spoilers. While you watch it, I'll quickly sum up the plot of the episode before I get into the review itself. The crew of the Interceptor needs a special weapon to hold evil Aya at bay so that they can try to get through to her to talk her into being nice Aya again. Razor mentions the Orange Lantern Corps, who were apparently able to hold Atrocitus back thousands of years ago. Maybe that would have been good information to have had when we were fighting the Red Lantern Corps, but that's none of my business. So they go to investigate and find there's only one member of the Orange Lantern Corps left, Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Hal steals the Orange Lantern battery and immediately goes mad with power, but eventually gives up the battery when he sees that Aya is extinguishing stars across the universe. They all decide that they cannot use the Orange battery and they will try to find another way to stop Aya. So, I've made no secret that I really don't like giving every color known to man its own special core with its own emotions that go with it. As I've said before, it's very reductive. A green ring is fueled by will. Well, actually, the ring wearer is usually chosen because he or she is worthy. There are plenty of evil people in the universe with a strong will who would not make suitable candidates for Green Lanterns, but that is neither here nor there. But the members of the Green Lantern Corps have more than one personality trait. We've seen anger, despondency, and hope from members of the Green Lantern Corps, but that doesn't mean that they automatically become that one state of mind because that's not how complex living beings work. They're not defined by one single aspect at a time. So I've never liked the idea that there's an entire core of warriors fueled by greed, as we see in this episode. What would even be the purpose of a core of greed lanterns? Who would make this lantern battery that thrives on greed, or maybe increases greed? What purpose would that serve? But ignoring that, one of my problems with this episode is that it's incredibly inconsistent given what we have seen from other cores in this series. When Atrocitus approached Razor to be a red lantern, he chose him because he already had anger in his heart and used that anger to become a powerful member of the red lantern core. The ring did not give him a rage boost. The green rings do not give Kilowog or Hal will boosts. So why does the orange battery instantly turn Hal into a green-eyed monster? Or, I guess, an orange-eyed monster? Because the plot of the episode needs it to, that's why. It doesn't matter if it's inconsistent with the rest of the series, as long as it can direct the plot in a direction we need it to go. And maybe that's a little harsh, but it seems to me that they wanted to homage Hal as Parallax in that one scene where he has all the rings on his fingers, and show that he's got darkness in him. Then, when they're discussing deactivating Aya because she's evil, Hal can say, no, we can't do that, because because I was a monster and you guys brought me back. Yeah, but you didn't directly cause the death of Gaetea when you were evil, so it wasn't nearly as far for you to come back from. And also, didn't this Gollum from Lord of the Rings guy kill an entire core of Orange Lanterns and you guys are just going to let him go? Maybe I misread the episode, but I thought it was saying Larflees got greedy and killed his fellow Lanterns. Seems like this guy should be stripped of his ring and thrown in the Spider Guild prison. This review is on the shorter end because I just don't have that much to say about it. I do like that this is a little more connected to the evil Aya storyline than the episode episode Babble, but I like that episode much more than I like this one. This just doesn't do anything for me. I don't like the gimmick of the ring that instantly turns you evil. I don't like that we've never heard of it before now, when it would have definitely come up in conversation before if they were trying to stop the Red Lanterns, especially since it's Razor who tells us about this. And I don't like that we're still trying to bring Aya back to the side of the good guys when we see clear evidence that she is destroying entire star systems. Yes, that will become a plot point later on, slight spoiler, but what they find out later, they do not know now, so I don't see why how thinks because a ring turned him greedy for three minutes that he can bring back a presumed mass murderer to their side. Anyway, that's all for this review. Hope you guys liked it, and I hope you guys liked the episode more than I did. In the meantime, check me out next weekend where I'll review another episode of this series. And until then, have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.